Now, using the locally stable lemma we just proved, uh, we will have a very important uh, proliferation uh, for proving the inverse function theorem, the open map theorem. Uh, so, G is an open subset of Rn. And uh, F from G to Rn is C1, continuously differentiable. And the assumption is that if for all x in G, the derivative at x is invertible. That is, the Jacobian determinant of f at x is not zero. Then, the image of this map is open. Okay, so here T is an open map of Rn. And f is a map. But uh, in general, f is a map into also into Rn, okay? In general, the now, the image can be quite strange. Uh, the image of this map can be very uh, strange, uh, complicated. For example, if f is a constant map, then uh, the image is precisely a single point. If f is a constant map, it maps every point in G to a single point in Rn. Therefore, the image is a single point. And also, F can uh, place the G to a lower dimensional uh, object. Okay. For example, the image is it is quite reasonable. It is quite possible that the image of G lies in some uh, coordinate uh, plane. Okay. This is quite possible. But uh, uh, of course, the Either a single point or uh, a lower dimensional object is not an open subset of Rn. But this lemma tells us that once the derivative is not zero, once there are some regularity assumption, uh, then the image is open. Uh, okay. And uh, also, I will remind you that uh, our textbook also contained this lemma, but uh, the assumption is uh, uh, it has an extra uh, assumption. In the textbook, uh, the stability of F is also assumed. Uh, the, the textbook needs to assume that the map IF is also uh, stable. Uh, you need uh, the stable uh, to follow the proof in the textbook. But now I will provide a, a proof uh, without the stability assumption. Okay. Prove this lemma. We take a point B in the image. We want to prove that the image is open. So we need to prove that B is an interior point. Uh, B is an interior point of the image. That is this is the image. That is, we need to find the small neighborhood of the, the point B, so that all points allow B are also uh, in the image of the map, also in FG. Okay, this is what we need to do. So, uh, here is G. We can take a point A in G, uh, because B is in the image, therefore there must be no. Uh, maybe maybe there are several, but we take one each uh, an arbitrary one. Uh, so that F A equal to B. Uh, take A in G such that F A is B. Such A may be uh, so many, uh, not only not unique. Uh, if there are several such A, we take uh, uh, any one of it. Uh, we we take one one of it. Okay, so. Because by our assumption, this is not zero, okay? Uh, this is not zero for every x. 
Ah, the Jacobian determinant is not zero at every point. In particular, at other point A. Ah, so this is not zero. Ah, so using our previous lemma, there exists an epsilon positive and a lambda positive such that f x minus f y greater than equal to lambda x minus y for any x y in the epsilon neighborhood of a ah you have a small neighborhood of a ah, ah so the every two point x y in the neighborhood uh, this inequality is true but uh, you can assume uh, decrease the influence slightly ah this is an open ball ah without containing the uh, sphere uh, around A. But uh, if you take a s slightly smaller epsilon, you consider this ball. Then this inequality is also true for the smaller ball up to the boundary. So this is the closure of the set. Uh, closure. Uh, that is uh, this set is Z in Rn. The distance from Z to A is not greater than Epsilon. The open ball is strictly less than Epsilon, but now we allow the equal. Ah, okay. So, so this inequality means that this means that F consider as a map in the closed ball to Rn is injective injective right because if x is not equal to y then fx will not equal fy so this means this is injective so for x in the boundary of this ball the value of fx is different from the value at the center of the ball because this is injective okay therefore this number ah for x x on the <coughs> x on the uh, sphere which lead the epsilon centering at a uh, we consider the difference from fx to fa uh, that is Uh, because this sphere, this sphere is sequentially compact, and uh, this function is obviously continuous. Okay, so so this function as a continuous function attempts its minimum over this sequentially compact set, the the sphere settling at A, which radius epsilon. So this minimum is attainable. Ah, it's the minimum value of such a function. But uh, for every point, fx is not equal to fa. So every point, the value of the function is not zero. It's, it, the, the, the value of the function is positive. So the infinite because uh, it is actually the minimum, must also be positive. Okay? This is positive. So we determine, the, uh, we use the a uh, locally stable uh, lemma to obtain a small ball B epsilon A so that F is uh, injective on this ball, closed ball. Then uh, in this closed ball, we determine a number mu, which is positive. Okay, we get a positive number mu. Then, then for Y in the neighborhood in a small ball centered at B, but which uh, differ the radio. The radio, it turns out that the, the radio will choose half of mu. Ah, so, so this is B and uh, this ball, this ball radio mu over 2. Ah, so for every y here, what can we see? 
For every given y, we consider consider this function to see uh, from the to see is defined in the a in the epsilon neighborhood of a and the real valued. Consider this function. This function is defined by Psi x is the different distance from fx to y. Y is given. Once y is given, we consider this function. Uh, what, what we want to do? Our paper is to prove that the point B is an interior point of, of the image fg, right? So we need to find a small ball centering at B. This ball contained in fg. Ah, so this boy, this boy is what we want. We want to prove that this ball is contained in fg. Ah, we want to prove that this ball is contained in fg. Once we can prove this, uh, we can say that B is an interior point of the image. Therefore, the conclusion is proved. So for this problem, we consider this function Psi. Ah, we consider this function Psi given here, uh, defined in this way. Uh, this function obviously is continuously differentiable. Okay? Psi is continuously differentiable. Uh, differentiable and uh, also when x is a point in the boundary of maybe maybe I will write C here again uh, C x is the distance from fx to y square uh, so this is say one, uh, continuously differentiable. So for x in the boundary of this ball, our push x, push x is f x minus y square. Uh, this is of course no less than f x minus f a minus f a minus y square. So, but uh, f x minus f a, uh, f x minus f a, uh, here, when x, our x is taken from the boundary of the sphere. Once x is a point in the boundary, the infinite mind is mu, is positive. So f x minus f a, the norm of f x minus f a will be not less than mu. Okay, so so this term is not less than mu. Under this term, for this term, because f a is precisely b, so the distance from b to y, because y is taken from the y is taken from the half of mu neighborhood of b. So the distance from y to b will not greater than, than half of mu. Therefore, this is not greater than half of mu. So the difference, the first of the term is no less than mu. The second term will not greater than half of mu. Therefore, this will not greater than, in fact, strictly greater than mu minus half of mu, then square. This is 4 mu square. But the 4 mu square uh, is greater than f a minus y, right? f a, f a minus y, that is b minus y. b minus y is less than half of mu. Uh, therefore, the square is less than mu square over 4. So we have this inequality here. Okay, so, but f, the norm of f a minus y square is precisely, is precisely to c a. 
Ah, so 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 we have this estimate, this crucial estimate.